neighborhood community shout out. We got a lot to do, so let's get started, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Bambi S, welcome back, girl. We sure as heck missed you. Glad to have you back. Hope all is well. Sherry Tate, welcome to the neighborhood under your new channel name. She used to be Look What You Missed Out On. She is now Sherry Tate, so welcome under your new name. Uh, Daryl Roper changed his channel to Daryl's Random Videos. Welcome to the neighborhood under your new channel, Daryl's Random Videos. Go check out his channel and show him some love. Armando Lopez, welcome to the neighborhood. D. Grants, welcome to the neighborhood. NL Family Vlogs, welcome to the neighborhood. And they have a channel, so go on over and check out their channel. Katie Two's Weight Loss, welcome back, girl. We sure as heck missed you. Glad to have you back. Hope all is going well with you. Baby Shenanigans, welcome to the neighborhood. They have a channel. Go on over and give them a check out and see what you like and sign up for them. Show them some love. Petey Fox, welcome to the neighborhood. Also has a channel. Go on over and give them a check out as well. Very Merry Vlogs. Welcome to the neighborhood. Also has a channel. Go show them some love. Courageously Free Travelers. Welcome to the neighborhood. Also has a channel. Go show them some love. Hayden Spangler. Welcome to the neighborhood. Graves of the Groves. Welcome to the neighborhood. And they also have a channel, so go on over and give them a check out. Shandy, welcome to the neighborhood. Darth Raven, or Revan, welcome to the neighborhood. Darren Birch, welcome to the neighborhood. He also has a channel. Go on over and check him out. And Seven Games of Rage, welcome to the neighborhood. Woo! Got a lot of you in there. So welcome to all the new subscribers, even if I did not say your name. Welcome to the neighborhood, and I hope you stick around and decide to become part of our community. Ta. Okay, Pete Price, happy first birthday to your grandson. Thought I was going to say him, huh? And sharing media on other social sites, California 1964, Alex Griffin, Julie Hauselberger, Ronnie Marshall, Dave Nicholson, Maddie Carosa, Angie on YouTube, TJ, TJRA Growers, Elizabeth Childs, thank you all for sharing um, our content on other medias. Okay, thoughts and prayers. Don't have a lot this week. That's always a good thing. Um, first update on Kyle Muhlen, Muhlenbein. He is home from the hospital. He's doing much better, still in a lot of pain, um, but he is recovering from his knee surgery. It was a long, hard road for him, but he is home and recovering. Glad to hear that, Kyle. And... Um, Stay healthy, do what you're supposed to do so you, you can heal properly. Jerry Colburn. She is back to having her fevers, blood infection, ear infection, and congestion. And we all know what happens with her when she gets like that. If she doesn't get it under control quickly, she gets hospitalized. So let's all keep her in our thoughts and prayers that she gets this under control and does not have to go into the hospital. One Proud Mama, April and Haley and her family, let's uh, keep our thoughts and prayers for them that they do find a place to live before the end of the month. It's getting real, real close, guys, and they're still struggling. And they are still waiting um, for their surgeries, both of them. 
and Mom's Vlog 80, uh, the main bills, Melody, Ronnie, Caden, and of course Elijah, Jack, Shadow, if we can all keep them in our thoughts and prayers as well. Okay, my question last week was, if you could have an endless supply of any food, what would you get? And... I'm going to say most people picked pizza. And I think that's a pretty good choice considering it pretty much covers the four, four basic food groups. Your greases and your salts and your... Uh, yeah. 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 So, but there were a few. Elizabeth Childs picked fruits and veggies, which would be pretty good except for somebody like me who can't eat a lot of fruits and veggies. So, um... Terry Johnson picked hamburgers. That I could do. Chibiga, chibiga. Um, Goth Man, the Soul Keeper, picked cheeseburgers. Destiny Swan picked sunflower seeds. That wouldn't fill me up, though. And Susie here, she got it right. What's that? Ice cream. Mm hmm That would kill you. Yeah, but it would be a nice death. <laughs> what would you pick? Um, I don't know, because it always changes for me. I go through, I eat something until I'm sick and tired of it. Mm -hmm. So, but I think everybody would probably say my uh, Rice Krispie treats. Yeah, so. probably. What would you think I would choose? Ham, a continuous supply of roast beef and ham. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, and my question for this week is, which, or who's your favorite cartoon character and why? I saw that. Saw so what? Yeah, I, I saw that. Oh, it's time for neighborhood community credit roll. Okay, so last week's question was about Insidious 2. Insidious 1, um, the uh, director had uh, hidden Billy the Puppet in his movies. Along with many of his movies, you'll see Billy the Puppet will show up somewhere somehow. He does not do that in Insidious 2, however, he does do, uh, do something as a um, uh, Easter egg. Um, and it would be, a lot of people would simply call it a uh, director's, um, what do they call it when they show up in the movies? Hitchcock study. But um, he, there's a, a scene where you're looking at the computer screen of one of the, the nerds that were the uh, paranormal guys, and there's the, the two paranormal guys with the director, their arms around each other. So that was what I was referring to. That was the uh, uh, director's Easter egg, and the only person that got it right was Tanya Wong. A lot of people were there talking about other things that were referring to the previous movie, but the entire movie had was back and forth and back and forth inside the first movie. Here, it was kind of a bizarre but cool uh, 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 thing that they did. All right, so today our question has to do with the movie The Boy. 2016, because we just watched it. it has uh, Lauren Cohen in it from uh, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. I thought, great, we're gonna hear what her real uh, accent sounds like, but no, she plays an American in this one too. She does have a British accent. Uh, and the question is, um, what? There was two other titles for this movie before it was released. What were they? There you go, guys. Oh, and there's only 67 days left till Halloween. Just, just a little tidbit of information for you all. There you have it. There's your trivia question for the week and your question of the week. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it were not for all of you out there watching us. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff, including our Monday night trivia. We're doing 
prizes on that. Make sure you go watch and answer those questions for those prizes. And we will see you all next week on another episode of Pigs in Space. Wednesday night neighborhood community show.